occasionally get requests from customers to, uh, could, couldn't I put a recording of the bell sound on my website so that people can figure out how the bells sound? And unfortunately, I have to explain to them that even though every set of bells might look almost the same, especially with antique bells, the sound can be quite different. Um, the sound on new sleigh bells is a little more consistent, so I'm not quite as worried about the variation in sound with the new bells. But I w want to show you or ring these for you so that you can see how variable that the sound is. So I, here's the first one. Second one. And last but not least, so quick ring. Some of the variation in sound is the wall thickness of the bell. Some of the other variation in the sound is uh, damage to the bell. There's at least one bell here that's got a crack in it, so it sounds a little more dead. It's not so ringy and bright. Um, and then others are just like, you know, the overall wear on the bell and just slight variations in the manufacturer. These antique bells weren't as consistent in um, how they're made. Uh, not only because they're being made by multiple different foundries, but they are also made with different alloys brass alloys um, as well as different kinds of molds. That's the reason why I don't uh, put recordings of my bells on my website because I can't guarantee that the strap will sound like this or like that one or that one.